what do we do? We, uh, what do we do? We take care of certifications. We take care of third party questionnaires. We take care of all of the things that take a huge amount of time out of companies in a domain that they don't necessarily understand. Um, being cyber security certification, data security certification, you know, call it what you will. Um, but there's a real need um, for experienced people who understand it to help businesses and take that time out, make that problem go away, represent them to their clients uh, in an effective manner. On the back of that, obviously, you want to do the right thing, right? So a big part of what we do then is implementing uh, these data security frameworks and controls. And again, just taking care of them, making sure that they operate uh, on a month on a month by month basis. So yeah, we save clients time. I think we save them money, you know. Could they do it themselves? Yeah, they could do it themselves, you know. You could uh, you could learn what I learn. You know, I've been doing this for over 20 years. I uh, had a lot of training, invested a lot of time and effort, got a lot of experience, right? Hundreds of clients, hundreds of audits. Been lucky enough to travel all over the world. But yeah, you could do it yourself. Could you employ somebody? Um, yeah, you could employ somebody. You can employ somebody full time. My experiences are that, you know, within our industry, people know one thing and they know it well. That's not to say that I'm unique by any stretch, but, uh, you know, the general market, depending on what you're going to pay, it's unlikely you're going to get somebody with a multi-discipline, you know, multi-experience background. Um, but yeah, you could employ somebody. I think the challenges that you have in that arena, are, as I say, is firstly, he's like, well, you're going to pay for them. Uh, and then what are you going to do? You're going to train them, you know, and then once you've trained them, which is always a good option, you invested in the training, that they are going to want more money and they're probably going to leave you, you know, if you're looking at around about an 18 uh, to 20 month life cycle for people with our industry to stay full time before, uh, you know, the grass is greener elsewhere. Could you employ a contractor? You could absolutely employ a contractor. And again, there are many good contractors out there. Um, but in the contractor world, you know, you're in the same boat again as having a full-time employee, apart from you're paying <laughs> a ridiculous amount of money. You know, if a contract is getting somewhere in the region of 600 pound a day, it is possible, you know, that the intermediary is going to be taking a grand a day, give or take. Um, so you're in that ballpark, right? Between three and five grand uh, a week. Uh, so it soon adds up and uh, yeah, yeah, you can, you, you can employ a contractor, right? A lot of my friends, a lot of people I know, uh, a lot of good guys that are out there. Do we come with any, uh, <laughs> with anything other than experience? Yeah, yeah, we come with things other than experience. Uh, we got intellectual property, right? So we got documents that, uh, processes, uh, We've got things that we that, that, that are part of how we operate. And again, you know, that fast tracks you to where you want to be taking advantage of that experience uh, and that knowledge. I think within the last three months, you know, I completely and utterly rebuilt a product set from scratch. Um, I did a mapping against NIST. I did a mapping against PCI. I did a mapping against 27001. You know, it was working out on average anywhere sort of between four and six hours. Uh, per document, I've ended up with a pack of around about 50 documents, right? Um, now that's not to say that everybody needs every single one, but at least it's there in the kit bag if we do need it. So again, it's a big, big investment. It's a big investment in time, uh, and it's something that you get, you know, as, as part of working with somebody like me. So what's the process of 27001? Uh, it's pretty simple, really. We build an information security management system. Uh, the company implements some some controls. Uh, there's 114 of them, so I say some, uh, and then we take the test, right? Uh, if you want me to take the test for you, which is sort of something I do for probably for 99% of the clients, uh, I can't guarantee you'll pass. I don't think anybody can guarantee that in life. But I've not had anybody that's not passed yet. So I guess you know, read from that what you will. Um, but yeah, simple simple process really. How much does it cost? <sighs> it depends, right? So the actual certificate itself can anywhere between five and eight thousand pounds for you just to take the test. You know, an engagement with me will start at around about five thousand pounds. 
it's going to take somewhere in the region of three to six months uh, to deliver it so your cost is going to be based on how much of it you can do and how much you want me to do uh, and your time is going to be based on you know your ability to implement the controls and then get the certification body in but that's a good indication you know yeah six to eight grand of certification cost five grand starting cost for me and then three to six months to deliver it I think is about you know it's about right what sock okay so if you've got clients in the in the Americas they operate a framework called SOC it comes in two flavors SOC 1 SOC 2 uh, very very similar you know in layman's terms to, to 27001 but what you find is that your clients in the US um, don't necessarily acknowledge uh, 27001 uh, to the extent that you would hope they would uh, they've got their own framework uh, which comes along with its own associated cost but in broad brush if you think of it as just another framework and if you've got a good solid ISO 27001 implementation then you know your journey through to SOC 1 or 2 type 1 or type 2 uh, is going to be relatively straightforward do I take care of questionnaires oh my god yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, a huge amount of my time is spent answering uh, security questionnaires on behalf of clients uh, and customers. You know, they range, uh, my clients and customers get them and they range from 30, you know, up to 300, well, well 10, 10 questions maybe sometimes if you're lucky, uh, but up to 300. Uh, none of them are the same and none of them are standard. Um, but yeah, I answer those questionnaires, I take that problem away as well. Did I used to own a consultancy? Yeah, I did. Uh, I started one, <laughs> I built it, I ran it, and then I subsequently sold it. Um, yeah, I did. And now I'm starting again, right? So yeah, interesting times. <laughs>